All right, guys, welcome to the second year of Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're going all fancy pants. I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful ribeye steak with caramelized shallots and a beautiful Jerusalem artichoke or sunchoke puree. This is the kind of thing I'll make for my wife when it's just the two of us. It is dead simple to do and really, really tasty. So come on, let's get into it. Okay, to kick things off, let's grab a roasting tray. Now for the shallots, we need to cut them in half. I want to peel them and also just remove that tough outer layer. We also want to trim the root a little bit. Now let's add some salt, pepper, a good glug of oil. I want to mix that all together. Now let's get them in the oven, 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 degrees Celsius. We're going to cook them for about an hour, an hour and a half. Make sure you give them a shake and a scrape every now and again so they're not burning on the bottom of the pan. Now, Jerusalem artichokes, or sunchokes as they're known over here in the States, they are a fantastic vegetable. Um, they're becoming a little bit more popular. I kind of see them about in the supermarkets a little bit more, but um, you might have to go and hunt for them. Now, before we prep them, I need to squeeze half a lemon into a bowl of water. And the reason we do that is because once we've peeled the artichokes, they're gonna to begin to discolor. So we're gonna get those into the water with that lemon juice, and that's gonna keep them from discoloring. Next, I wanna chop them up to roughly the same size. I've got a pan of boiling water. Let's add a good pinch of salt, and let's get those Jerusalem artichokes in. Now let's bring that up to a rolling boil, and we're gonna cook those until they're soft enough to puree. Okay, they look great, so let's get them drained. I want them in the food processor. Let's add a good pinch of salt, a splash of milk, and a couple of knobs of butter. Then let's blitz that up into a smooth puree. Now, if you want to take it one step further and make it even smoother, you can pass it through a sieve, and using a spatula, just work that through. Now, to finish this off, I want to grate in a whole load of Parmesan and some fresh black pepper. We're gonna mix that all together. Now let's pop that aside and check on the shallots. Wow, those shallots are looking absolutely delicious. Now a little tip here, guys, is get them out whilst they're hot because as they cool down, they kind of weld themselves uh, to the bottom of the roasting tray. So when you pick them off, you leave all those beautiful caramelized bits on the bottom of the roasting tray. Again, we're gonna pop those aside. That's just about everything done, so we're gonna cook the steak. Now, I saw this steak in my local supermarket and I thought, come here, we are gonna cook and film you. Um, it's a beautiful bone-in ribeye, so we've got the bone that runs all the way down there. Um, I've actually tied a bit of string uh, around it because this top bit here is uh, falling off a little bit, but um, and that's just gonna help it keep its shape as we cook it in the pan. Um, but it's got, you know, it's got a lovely bit of meat there, some nice bit of marbling. And, you know, you can see this is a nice thick cut piece of beef. I just want to season that really generously. I'm not going to add any black pepper because I don't want the pepper to burn in the pan as we cook it. Um, so we're going to add pepper afterwards. Right, that pan's nice and hot, so I'm going to add a good splash of avocado oil. And guys, avocado oil, perfect for cooking steaks because you can cook at a much higher temperature than like other oils without it burning. So you know, like if you do that with olive oil, you get all the smoke coming off it. You're not gonna get that with avocado oil. So try and get some. Let's get the steak in there. I wanna cook that for a couple of minutes on each side until we get that lovely brown caramelization. That's looking absolutely amazing. So we're gonna add a couple of knobs of butter, some rosemary, and a couple of cloves of garlic. Now grab a spoon. As that butter starts to foam up, I wanna baste that all over the meat. And we're gonna do that for just a couple of minutes. Now because this steak is so thick, I'm gonna pop that in the oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm gonna cook that for maybe three, maybe four minutes. This steak is looking absolutely incredible. So we're just gonna take that off onto a separate plate 
and we're going to let that rest for about 10 minutes. Okay, one more thing. I'm going to show you how to make a really simple sauce just using the meat juices which are left over in this pan. So let's pour off most of that fat and get the pan back on a kind of like medium heat. I'm going to add a little bit more rosemary. As everything starts to kind of caramelize and start frying away, we want to add just a little splash of water. I mean, we're talking maybe three or four tablespoons of water here. Now that's going to come up to the boil. We want to give everything a really good scrape. Just knock off any of those meat juices which have welded themselves to the bottom of the pan. As that reduces down, it's going to intensify in flavor. You're going to see the color change just like that. We're going to knock that off the heat and we're going to add in any juices which are left on the plate that have been resting the steak. Guys, I normally make this for my wife and myself, but tonight I've got, I've got the ultimate date, haven't I? I've got a little princess who has just climbed out of her crib. Haven't you, you little monkey? Yeah, yeah, you can see the hummingbird over there, can't you? Anyway, guys, let me give this a try. I mean, this has been hours. Oh, <laughs> oops, a daisy. Mm -hmm. oh. That is so good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to have steak or apple? Apple. Would you like to? Would you prefer? Yeah. Would you prefer steak or a hat? Would you prefer steak or a star? Star. There we go. I've offered it to her three times, which means I now get to eat all of this myself. Thank you, darling. Mwah. Guys, thank you so much for all the lovely comments last week for the anniversary. Absolutely wonderful. Cheers for that. If you like the recipe, get in the comments, give us a thumbs up and, um, you know, give us some banter as well. Come on, we'll have, we had a love fest last week. Let's have a bit of banter this week. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy this and I'm going to hang out with this little princess. Sorry, can you say bye-bye? Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.